Our problem statement focuses on this idea around the future of food challenge and, and how do we solve for the shortage that they project by 2050 of 250 million tons a year of protein and how do we solve for that within planetary constraints. So more than that, it's not just about the technology, but it's the commercial side and how do you make sure that the technology you develop is scalable, it's cost competitive, and of course consumers actually want to consume it. Charles and Greg come from a, a non-scientific background and basically they latched onto this technology development and became microbiologists and, and process technologists in terms of how do we work together in terms of developing this technology and really bringing it to life. They came to me with a technology which involved the growth of microorganisms. So in this instance, they were mushrooms essentially or molds. And basically the concept that they had was producing this organism at a very large scale. So starting in the laboratory and then scaling up the manufacturing so that we could mass produce a mycoprotein for use as a nutritional ingredient. A mycoprotein is an alternative protein source, so it's very suitable for the vegan and vegetarian market because the protein itself is coming from the organism and it's not derived from animal sources. This technology is done elsewhere in the world. There are other producers of this mycoprotein using the same organism. However, this activity is not happening on the African continent. So we know we can grow microorganisms, we have bioreactor capability, we have a diverse skill set in terms of localizing the technology in South Africa. So we can basically set up a production facility, grow this organism using the technology that we've developed, and then we become a producer and exporter of this organism, not only to the country, but globally. Mycelium-based protein is a highly versatile ingredient. It's a high quality profile and has a number of applications. So analog meat and dairies, into baked goods, health bars, protein shakes and the like. And so very, very versatile and what we've been finding is applications for our wet product into high-end pet foods. For us to be able to test what we've done in these 18 months, we would have had to go to market and raise significant capital to be able to do that. And so the CSR is able to step into that role and enable you to get through what is effectively an ideation to a successful proof of concept without having to go and raise and deploy significant capital. Microsure is not only about a commercial return, yes, that's very important in terms of viability of the business going forward, um, but we have the potential for significant environmental and socioeconomic impact. And that's about creating jobs. We want to build our first facility here in South Africa that's going to create a number of jobs. It's going to de-risk some of our supply chain issues around food security in South Africa. And at the end of the day, we very strongly believe there are some very, very smart people in South Africa and for that matter on the continent. And we should be developing our own technologies here. And you know, Lindell was a wonderful example of a young person who's come through the university environment, needs his first opportunity to bridge that experience gap to help him get into the, the job market. So we're very happy to be playing a, a role in that as well. He can basically understand the process that he will be working on from start to end how to keep your organism living, how to operate your bioreactor, how to make your products, so that when he spins out with MycoShow, he's already completely aware of the technology and he can then basically start up their production facility. I will say that we've covered significant ground in the 18 months we've been doing that compared to what we're seeing internationally. And so we've, we've had a very good relationship. We see this as a, an ideal example of a public-private partnership and how you support small business in South Africa. So highly competent scientific team and a facility here. Greg and I bring the commercial side. We've of course had to learn a lot of the science along the way, which is important for us. Um, and what we find is we have a healthy dynamic and we see the CSR as a long-term partner within our business.